Okay, welcome everybody. This is going to be our fourth presentation in the second online AIU conference with the theme of education in the 21st century. Um, I'm hosting Dr. Edward Lambert. Our next presentation is going to be by Desmond Ditiose on discrimination, the sociology of discrimination, which obviously is an important part of education. We've already had some presentations on teaching children who are deaf because they can be discriminated against because they're deaf, or even yeah. women. We had a presentation on education for young girls in Sierra Leone. And if young girls don't get their education, that's a form of discrimination. Because everybody has a human right to quality education. And that this basic concept of discrimination can limit people from actually fulfilling their human right for education. Nice so advice. Desmond is, and Des, Desmond Itiose is studying a bachelor's of mechanical engineering, but he wants to give a presentation on discrimination because he knows how important it is. So now I'm going to give the floor over to Desmond Itiose. And yeah. you can go ahead and start your presentation now. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I have, a, I have a topic to present called discrimination, which has become a hard work to society all over the world. Okay, by looking at the, by looking at the, at the abstract, uh, which talks about the racial inequality in employment, housing, and, and and an array of other social dom field has come back to interest in the possible role of discrimination. And yet, this article reviews the pertinent literature on discrimination with a prominence on racial discrimination in employment, housing, credit market, and consumer interactions. It also goes through education, education, healthcare, age, gender, sexual orientation. For example, I hear some. I, I heard some people have been discriminated in school, like uh, let's say a black student is in a classroom. A teacher call, call him or a, a, a teacher call him or her a monkey. And, and he or she is not a monkey. That is just that is discrimination for me, my opinion. And it's destroying the whole world. So, so Desmond, uh, yes. this is uh, Dr. Lambert again. Now, I asked you if, if anybody had ever called you a monkey, like in a class. No, no, no. Ever, no, like, no, I've ever called me a, a monkey, but but I read different stories of students who are being abused by teachers. Right. Yeah. I never experienced that in my life. It could be common in other countries or anywhere in the world. You know. Okay. Uh, now I want to talk about the definition so, of the definition so, of. So, because you brought up a very powerful idea there, and that's a really strong type of discrimination. When when you oh, when yeah. you mention when you mention someone saying something so derogatory so disrespectful so 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 bad as to call someone like that that's yeah, that is a really that's a really powerful powerful statement that you're making yes and so it's like you need you need to talk about that a second before you move on okay okay i, I just give that as an example yet i've not yet elaborated more now i want to talk about about uh, the definition of discrimination. 
what is discrimin what is this discrimination from my own understanding discrimination means treating people unequally treating people unequally through through a differential treatment and disparate disparate impact The differential treatment takes place when individuals are treated unequally as a result of their race, while disparate impact takes place when individuals are treated equally as stated by provided set of rules and procedures, although when the latter are built in ways and that favors member, mem members of one group over another. Discrimination, discrimina the, the, a, a key feature of any explanation of discrimination, it could be its concentration on behavior, which is different from racial prejudice, attitude, racial stereotypes, beliefs, and racism ideologies that may further be connected with racial disadvantage. Discrimination could be motivated by prejudice stereotypes or may be motivated by, by racism through the explanation of discrimination, which does not presume any original underlying cause. Now, after, now I want to give the examples, for example, For example, a bank has lengthy rules that make it a reasonable difficult for new immigrants to get loans, which may be a case of discrimination based on two grand race and national or ethnic origin. My second example is a person who is systematically referred to secondary screening at airports due to the color of their skin, which may be a case of discrimination based on the ground of color. An employer, an, an employer assigns her employees to weekend shift. That's another example. Without recognizing that some employees observe the Sabbath and cannot work on those days, which may be a case of discrimination based on the ground of religion. An employee's physical fitness requirements are based on the capabilities of an average 25-year-old instead of being based on actual requirements of the job, which may be based on a case of discrimination based on the ground of age, which is called the age discrimination. Another example, a female employee with an excellent performance announces that she is pregnant. Immediately, her employee begins to identify performance issues that lead to her dismissal, which may be a case of discrimination. Because when a, when a woman gets pregnant, she can't be able to work. She, have to, she needs a day off until she comes back to work, maybe the following week or something. A policy provides benefits to some married couples, but not to others, which may be a case of discrimination based on two grounds, sexual orientation and marital status. After having a child, when a woman has a child from the beginning, for example, a, a woman cannot find child care to continue working overnight shift and her employee employer does not allow flexibility 
by schedule, scheduling her on day shift, which may be a case of discrimination. An employer requires all employees to have a valid driver's license. People who cannot drive due to a disability are not given an opportunity to show how they could still perform the job by, for example, using public transit, which may be a case of discrimination based on the ground of disability. A policy requires that a person identifies themselves as either male or female, which may be a case of discrimination based on gender identity or expression. Now I want to move on to the next one. How can we determine, how can we determine discrimination? Okay. Um, All right. More than, more than 100 years of social science interest in the question of discrimination has resulted in numerous techniques to stay away and, and know its presence and to document its effects, according to National Research Council 2004. But no method is without its limits. Together, this, these techniques give a range of perspectives that can help to inform our understanding of whether, how, and to what degree discrimination matters in the lives of modern Amer American racial minorities. Then, from my opinion, the way this discrimination could be resolved or determined is by is by educating all workers about discrimination, encouraging workers to, res to respect each other's differences by not looking down on them uh, according to how much education they have, according to their religion in public. On that one, a response to any evidence about inappropriate behavior, if it's wrong. Dealing with constraints of discrimination, promptly and confidentially. Now, um, I'm, I'm moving to the next point called perceptions of discrimination. Numerous, numerous, uh, numerous research have asked African Americans and other racial minorities about their experiences with discrimination in workplace. In their search, for housing and in other everyday social settings. According to Schumer and R, 2001. A, 2000, a 2001 research, for instance, found that more than one third of Blacks and nearly 30% of Hispanics and Asians reported that they had personally been passed over for a job or promotion as a result of their race or ethnicity, according to Sheila 2004. Hello, Desmond. Yes. Yeah. Are you well, I, yes, I'm in contact with students from all over Africa, and so, does the students in Africa tell me about discrimination in Africa? 
Oh. Where there's, there's, there's different religious discrimination or cultural dif- discrimination. And a lot of the students complain about it because it really affects their ability to move forward as a country or even in their own life. Yes. So the, this topic that you're bringing up is part of the experience in Africa. Yeah, it, it's everywhere. It's not only in uh, international countries, it's everywhere in the world. Even yes. it, let's say, for example, when you go to some countries, a, a Muslim, <coughs> sorry, a Muslim will be against someone who is a Christian. You know? Yes. So we cannot impose religion on anybody. Everybody has its own religion. All we have to just do, we have to live together as one by treating each other equally. It's true. I mean, can you imagine trying to, like in the past, cultures from one religion tried to kill people from another religion? Ooh, no, man. It's <laughs> and this is, that this is, is the human experience. That is the human happen. experience. Oh, man. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, I mean, this this is something that maybe way into the future, people will look back and think people were just so immature in the way they understood life. Yeah. Yeah, it's common in school. Even, like, uh, I, I have one example. I have one example with the, uh, in September 24, 2019, a Muslim woman said, a, a, a Muslim woman was stopped by three people on the street one night in Montreal by pulling on a hijab, knocked her to the knock, knocking her to the ground and kicking her. Yeah, which is not nice. No. Another one too: a black woman living in who lives in Saguenay, La Saint Jean in Montreal uh, was called a gorilla. An ape on several occasions, and they told her to go back to her country. Right. Why? D- due to her color. Because discrimination destroys society, it promotes more immaturity. That is why people don't see each, o- each other equally, made by the image of God. God, God, doesn't, God never made anybody to become a monkey. He made everybody to come together as one to change the world and that for and that for humanity. Which is very, very bad. Okay, uh, I want to move on to the next topic. Uh, the next one. Uh, the next called reports by potential discriminators. All right. Oh, man. Another line of social science by sociologists did a research which focuses on the attitude and actions of dominant groups for, for insight into when and how racial ruminations come into play. Additionally, the long tradition of survey study on racial attitude and stereotypes among the general population, according to Schumer and R, 2001, Fali and R, 1994, several researchers have a number of researchers have have developed interview techniques. Targeted at gauging propensities toward discrimination among employees and other gatekeepers. Harry Hosea was has performed several employee employer surveys in which employees are asked a series of questions about grandi employers' responses in a tangible new experiences, according to to our research in 1996. All right. Oh 
as you can see, discrimination is very bad in the whole society. Okay, let me move to the next topic. Statistical analysis. Perhaps the most common approach to studying discrimination is by investigating inequality in results between groups. Better than focusing on the attitude of actors that may be corresponded to acts of discrimination, this approach looks to the feasible consequences of discrimination in unequal distribution of employment, housing or other social and economic resources. Utilizing large-scale data sets, researchers can recognize systematic disparities between groups and chart their direction over time. Important patterns can further be perceived through detailed and systematic case studies of single firms, which oftentimes give a richer range of indicators with which to access patterns of discrimination. Discrimination in statistic models is often measured as the residual race gap in any result that remains after controlling for all other race-related influence. Differences may be recognized through the ultimate impact of race, proposing a direct impact of race on an outcome of interest. I want to move to the next one. Experimental approaches to determine, determining, this, determining or resolving discrimination. We stand out in particularly those areas in which statistical analysis Rounder. Experiments permit researchers to determine the causal impact more directly by presenting carefully built and taking charge of comparisons. In a laboratory experiment by Dovidio and Gettner 2000, for instance, subjects like undergraduate psychology students took part in a simulated hiring experiment in which they were asked to access the implementation materials for black and white job applicants. We are ideally highly qualified or poorly qualified for the position. There was no proof of discrimination. When applicants had acceptable, although ambivalent qualifications, although Participants were almost 70% more likely to recommend the white applicant than the black applicant. Moving to the next topic on discrimination, studies of law and legal record. Since the civil rights generation, legal explanations and accounts of discrimination have been central to both popular and scholarly realizations of discriminations. Proportionally, an additional window into the dynamics of discrimination necessitate the use of legal records from formal 
discrimination claims, whether given from claims to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, the Court of State Level Fair Housing Bureaus, official records registering claims of discrimination can give original insights into the patterns of discrimination and anti-discrimination enforcement in specific context and over time. Then move to a great topic. Is discrimination still a problem? Yes, it's, it's, my point here is a problem. As simple as it may be, one, one basic question that preoccupies the modern literature on discrimination centers around its continued relevance. Whereas 50 years ago, ages of discrimination were undisguised and widespread. Today, it is harder, it is difficult to access the level to which every day undergoes and opportunities may be shaped by ongoing forms of discrimination. Indeed, the, major, the majority of white Americans believe that a black person nowadays has the same chance of getting a job as an equally qualified white person. And only a third believe that discrimination is an important explanation for why blacks do worse than white in income, housing, and jobs. Indeed, discrimination is not the only, nor even the most important factor shaping modern day results with the increasing importance of skill, skill, structural modifications in the economy and other non-racial non factors accounting for rising amount of various in single results. Discrimination is not the only the most important factor shaping modern opportunities. Nevertheless, it is important to understand when and how discrimination does play a role in the allocation of resources and opportunities. I move on to the next one called the employment. However, there have been some exceptional gains in the labor force status of racial minorities. Important disparities remain. remain. African Americans are twice as likely to be unemployed as white. Hispanics, like the Latinos, are only marginally so, and the wages of both Blacks and Hispanics continue to lag well behind those of whites. A long line of research has analyzed the level to which discrimination contribute to shaping modern labor market disparities. Experimental audit studies focusing on hiring choices have consistently found strong proof of racial discrimination with approximate of white preference ranging from 50% to 240%. White names set off a cutback rate that was 50% higher than that of equally qualified black applicants. In addition, their research indicated that ameliorating the qualifications of applicants benefited white applicants, but not blacks. Thus, resulting from a wider racial gap in response rates for those with higher skill. For example, for example, in, in Quebec, new newcomers like the immigrants, they face a, a lot of discrimination on job markets, which is getting worse and worse in Quebec than anywhere in Canada. There are discriminatory biases during hiring. And when we compare the situation of immigrants in Quebec and in other Canadian provinces, we see that it is here that their situation is the most difficult. According to a report published by the Institut de Recherche et d'Information Socio-Economie, data shows 
the unemployment rate drop markedly for immigrants over time. Most immigrants are hired for their professional competencies and nothing justifies such a gap in employment figures, she said, said by Posca, a researcher. Overqualification and lower income also characterize the situation for immigrants. 43% of immigrants are overqualified for the jobs they posted for. The research report also indicates that a double discrimination faced by women immigrants. In 2013, the median disposable income of immigrants reached $120,410, or 90% of the revenue of women born here, and 60% of the revenue of men born here in Quebec. Cuts by the Liberal government are affecting the integration of immigrants in Quebec. The research also points to a reduction in the availability of French courses, closing of immigration offices in the regions, and cuts to community groups. It is important to realize when and how discrimination does play a role in the allocation of resources and, and opportunities. Your yeah, housing. Residential separation by race remains a notable feature of modern American cities. Indeed, African Americans were separated from white in 1990, as they had been at the start of the 20th century, and levels of separation appear unaffected by increasing socioeconomic status. But separation appears to have modestly decreased between 1980 and 2000. Blacks continue to undergo patterns of residential placement markedly different from whites. The level to which discrimination plays a role in racial disparities in housing has been a main preoccupation of social scientists and federal housing agents. For example, in, for example, in Quebec, I remember the year 2017, people find it difficult to look for apartments. Due to, their, due to their skin color. Next, the next topic, core credit market. Whites own about 12 times the wealth of African Americans. In fact, right near the bottom of the income, distribution own more wealth than blacks near the top of the income distribution. Given that home ownership is one of the most important sources of wealth accumulation patterns that influence the value and viability of home ownership, we have an effect on wealth disparities overall. Proportionally, the majority of work on discrimination in credit markets focuses on the particular scenario of mortgages. Available proof suggests that Blacks and Hispanics face higher rejection rates and less favorable terms in securing mortgages than do whites with, sim with similar credit characteristics.
let's move on to the next topic consumer market comparative to employment housing and credit market far less research focuses on discrimination in consumer trans transactions nevertheless there are some notable disparities a 2005 report by New Jersey Citizen Action, using data from two New Jersey lawsuits, found that between 1992 and 2000, Blacks and Hispanics were, dis were disproportionately contingent on financing markup mark charges at car dealerships, with minority customers paying an average of $339 more than whites with similar credit histories. When, let's move on to the next topic called what causes discrimination? Okay. The causes of discrimination lead to two factors, intrapsychic factors. Much of the hypothetical work on discrimination aim, aims to understand what motivates actors to discriminate along racial lines. However, internal motivations are complicated to measure empirically their relevance to the understanding and conceptualization of discrimination has been central. Classical works in this area focus attention on the role of prejudice or racial animals as key underpinnings of discrimination. With feelings and beliefs about the inferiority which means being scared of being being scared or having the fear to speak up, to speak up is our might or undesirability of certain racial groups associated with subsequent disadvantaging behavior. Conceptualizations of prejudice range from single level factors such as authoritarian personality or a taste for discrimination to more instrumental concerns over group competition and status closure. What are also that causes of discrimination? It could be ignorance about other people's cultures, ethnicities, background, lack of empathy from those who may be different from oneself. For, for example, when for example, when you walk by, when you walk over a person, you will think you are way higher than the person instead of him giving a help. You just walk away. That is a discrimination to me, my opinion. Fear of the unknown and those who are different. Feelings of helplessness and scapegoating others for that feeling. Jealousy. Jealousy towards others perceived to be better off. When you, are being, when you are being jealous of people, when you are being jealous of people's uh, performance, that, that sounds like a discrimination to me, in my opinion. And that creates a very bad attitude. Hate and loving the feeling of hate until it becomes an end unto itself.
Then the next factor called organizational factors. On the other side of interpersonal and intrapsychic factors that may affect discrimination, a large body of work direct our attention towards the organizational context organizational organizational context in which individual actors function more current hypothetical and empirical advances in the field of discrimination have preserved a strong interest in the role of organizations as a key structural context shaping inequality. My conclusion to this topic called discrimination when we explain discrimination, discrimination means treating people unequally, which is, which is very wrong. And it, and it distinguishes between treat, differential treatment and disparate effect, making a two-part definition. The differential treatment takes place when singles are treated unequally because of the arrests. Much of the theoretical work on discrimination purposes to realize what motivates actors to discriminate along racial lines. But internal motivations are complicated to measure empirically their relevance to the realization and conceptualization of discrimination has been central. Thank you. Hello, Desmond. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of comments in chat. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, can... I, I, yeah. I see a lot of comments. Huh? I see a comment. Someone asked me a question. Like, can I say discrimination in society is class system? Because class system is huge gap in this era. If we see class system effect on education in many countries, class system effect on quality education. So the quality is divided for every class. The same situation is here in my country, Pakistan. I think it's, the, I think it's, it's violent against human rights. Is 21st century education have any agenda to fill this gap? And is there any possibilities that can, that can, that quality education should be for all persons? That's a big question right there. <laughs> Another comment, God is love. Do we really love ourselves and neighbors? If there is love, charity, oneness, discrimination will be a thing of the past. This is a complicated issue, very deeply troubling issue in yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. Been, discrimination's been around forever. And there's been very few people really that have been able to overcome discrimination and realize that it's useless, that it's pointless, that it's not, it's not a reality, it's not a truth of life. But it's the truth of the human experience. Yeah, it's just my experience because you know in this life, we can't keep on being quiet forever. You know? It's just like, for example, if someone uses a very bad language against your son by calling him a monkey, a gorilla, you are going to react, you are going to react to that statement. You know? Because yes. Because the statement is not mature. 
That is why you see most schools don't talk more about these things. They just keep on being mute, 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 mute. That is why you see some students get bullied by other students. You know? Yeah, I was writing here in the chat that discrimination is just a form of bullying. It's a form of bullying, yes, absolutely. It's a form of bullying. Because because there are some there are some companies when they see a black guy is very disciplined, he's very gentle, he has good performance, other people will look down on him. You know? It just being good to everyone. That is bullying. It's a way of excluding somebody from the group. That's true. And exclude excluding somebody from your group is the essential nature of bullying. When you when you create a vision and you exclude some push them away. Yes. That's the essential nature of bullying is, is to create division and put other people down. That is true. That is true. Because because Christ who died for humanity, he didn't discriminate anybody. Even if you are a Christian you are Muslim, you are any religion, it dies for everyone. Yeah. Because we are all made... That's a, that's like a divine truth. That's like a divine truth of life. Yes. And if we could live, if we could live by the divine truths, we wouldn't have discrimination. Absolutely. Yeah, what you say is very reasonable, but... Other people don't say it that way. They'll keep on discriminating, discriminating. I watch, uh, I watch a video about this white guy in Kenya for calling a black person a monkey. He was deported back to his country. You know? Yeah, there has to be consequences for that kind of behavior. It's not good. How can you go to that? How can, how can you go to another mass country because it's, it's Africa? You start calling them that names, monkey. There's a lot of spiritual immaturity in the world. Oh man, a lot. Yes. But um, this this may be a topic for the 22nd century, the 23rd century. This may be a topic forever and ever. You know I mean? Ever and ever and ever, even to the fiftieth century, it's going to be a topic ever, ever, because because a lot of students have believed in that tragedy for a long time. Yeah, that uh, some some students are are seeking for help to overcome the discrimination. Yeah, you know, it's just. <laughs> It's one of those monsters where you cut off one head and then it regrows the head and it keeps on living. You cut off that head and it regrows the head and another part of its body and keeps on living. It's like a monster that just won't die. Hmm. You know? Yeah. No, the world, the world is very corrupt because the word of God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. People who keep on discriminating, they are lacking knowledge. They don't know that. If you have knowledge, you gain it. There's no way you discriminate anybody around you. Yeah. As you can see, some country, a Muslims are imposing religions on others by 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 persuading them to become Muslims. You know. Well, when I was a little boy, of like six years old. You know who my hero was? It was Martin Luther King. Oh, Martin Luther King, would, yeah. Yeah, and I, would, I was six years old, and I would watch him leading his people to freedom. And I loved it. And the day he died was like one of the worst days of my life. Oh, my God. Nobody, nobody will forget that story. For speaking the truth about, about discrimination, the guy was kid in his house in Alabama, 
1968-1969. Nobody will forget that story. Other people also stand for him. Malcolm X, uh, which other guy again? Uh, Rosa Parks, you know Rosa Parks? This lady called Rosa Parks. Everybody, each one of us, as we begin to get beyond this, we'll make a better world. Each one of us, yeah. every person, every person that can overcome discrimination, make a better world. We gotta go one person at a time. <laughs> Absolutely, the world is just dying every day. People don't learn from those history. It's dying every day. It's everywhere. Well, Desmond. Desmond, you bring up an incredibly powerful issue because it's really an issue that produces anger. If you've ever been bullied by another person and that anger that you feel, that frustration that you can't retaliate against this person, discrimination creates anger. And it's like, yes. how do you deal with your anger? How do you deal with your anger as a culture, as a people, as a person? Yes. And it really... And it's really holding the world back. So that is why the world is not moving forward. Because if we can yeah. end the discrimination, the world continues to move forward. I understand they say everybody in this world are going to die, but we don't know where we are going to end up. That's the question. Right. I mean, I think of like a woman who's being beaten by her husband. It's a form of discrimination. It's it's like the anger that she feels to try and find some sort of solution is is almost impossible sometimes. It's like she has mm -hmm. she has no choice but to deal with it, just to accept it. Hmm. So discrimination. Even, even that there was a, there was a video I also watched. It's an old news of this man in Bangladesh. He was arrested for point acid. Over his wife's eyes. Crazy. Over his wife's eyes, you know, and and his and, and his wife is I think his wife is still alive and she's blind. She's a yeah. professor of uh, university university in Canada. I can't remember the, the province. Maybe because of religion or something. Maybe because maybe uh, he does not want. His, his wife to be educated by going to school to become somebody because there are some country they don't want women to go to school you know it's just ego just being selfish you know desmond we have to we have to close your presentation and get on to the next presentation but okay thank you thank you very much pers per personally i want to thank you for bringing up a very troubling topic but it's but an incredibly important one. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for your courage to bring this topic up because it's not one of the simple topics. No, no, no. This topic needs a lot of research to be proved. Then you need to see more truth in it. Okay, Desmond, uh, this has been a good presentation. By Esmond Ipiosi. Yes. Bachelor student of mechanical engineering at AIU. And we yeah. sincerely thank you for your presentation. All right. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to stop the recording now. And so we have to move on to the next presentation. Okay, thank you so much. Nice Bye. You can stay around, you can stay on chat and you can continue the conversation with the other participants. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank thank you so much, Desmond. Thank you.